YouTube and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick little collection of things that I purchased off of Amazon. I like to do these once in a while once I collect a few things that I think are really neat. I do buy a lot of stuff off of Amazon. I'm sure a lot of people do. You either love Amazon or you hate it. Um, but I did want to point out that when you're supporting, when you're buying things off of Amazon, you don't just support Amazon. I know a lot of people are like not into that right now you are supporting the small businesses, the sellers that sell through Amazon. If the sellers have their own website, then it would probably be better to buy through their website because then they're not paying a small percentage to Amazon just to sell their stuff. But if you need it in two days or whatever. Um, but I did want to point out that you do support sellers also when you buy off of Amazon. The same with like Etsy, you know, if you buy off of Etsy, then you're supporting the small businesses on Etsy, not just Etsy that takes a huge chunk. Of that commission but just wanted to throw that out there so I have a few things that I quickly wanted to talk about the first thing is this mug right here so Diana Confederate mentioned this in her story she got it for her for Christmas I believe from someone and I was like that is a really cute mug it's like the perfect size for a latte or a cup of coffee it's not big I don't like large drinks like I don't like large coffee drinks I prefer smaller ones so I went on Amazon and looked for a friends mug and this one came up it's like the perfect size it has the central perk logo here and then the friends on the back I used it a lot I love it it obviously doesn't keep your drink warm like the double insulated glass mugs I have off Amazon but it's a very cute if you're a friends lover then I think you'll really like this mug and sticking to the coffee theme I wanted to talk about this portable espresso machine right here so basically how it works is that you pour hot water in here and then you can use this with the original line Nespresso pods or any Nespresso compatible pods the small ones not the big ones the virtual ones but the original ones or you can use it with ground coffee that you'll put in here and then it uses pressure to create a nice latte so I'll insert a clip to show you guys how it works it actually creates a very nice foam a very nice crema my friend Alina got this she's used it with coffee and she likes it from what she told me I've used it with an espresso pods and I like it it's actually pretty affordable they have a white one that's you can save eight dollars off right now I think it's 65 minus eight dollars they have this pink one they have a black one if I'm not mistaken and you would think like why do you need a portable espresso machine so if you go camping or if you're staying over at a hotel hotels usually don't have espresso machines or if you're an occasional like once in a while you want an espresso drink and you have a coffee machine at home but you don't want to buy an espresso machine um, like I said for hotels I personally bought this for like if we stayed over at a hotel you can use it with iced coffee just add ice um, you are gonna need hot water though if you want hot drinks but I just feel like it's nice to have for those instances where you want an espresso but you are traveling or whatever all of the above that I just stated so it's fairly affordable it's like $65 and if you get the white one you get $8 off so not too bad in my opinion let me just quickly talk about the clothing items that I picked up so there's this mock neck right here I got it a few months ago I like it it comes in different colors it is very thin and it can be sheer if it's stretched out all the way it's almost like a bodysuit material um it's like nice and sleek I love the color and I love that it has like a mock neck it's not an actual turtleneck and I also got the black leggings right here that I'm wearing let me show you in the mirror so there's these black leggings right here if you've ever tried lululemon aligned pants i've tried it they're navy blue ones these feel exactly like that as soon as i put them on they are super soft i don't like that they're almost like a 7 8 length i do wish they were longer i'm only 5 6 so i'm not that tall i'd say i'm pretty average and it does have like a it has like a band right here one of those elastic bands that is this thin so I was afraid that it would give me a muffin top, but it actually doesn't. It has very good compression in my opinion. Super soft. I just really love them, so I thought I would share about them. I think they were like $13. So I thought these were a really great find. They are just ridiculously soft, and they do have a few different colors. I also picked up these biker shorts, even though it's like the middle of winter. I wanted some leather bugging shorts, and I wanted to buy them because I was afraid that they would sell out. When I first got them, my first impression was that they were much shorter than I wanted them to be. But once you put them on, they actually do hit mid-thigh, and they do have a little bit of compression, so they're not too tight. They're actually fairly comfortable. I got a size small in everything, um, but the material is definitely much thinner than I thought it would be. But if you're looking for a fairly affordable leather biking short, I think these would be cute. They would be very cute with like an oversized um, a hoodie and put these on with some sneakers or just so many different outfits where they're wearing like a blazer. So I wanted these 
I was afraid that they would sell out, so I picked them up. I also picked up a bunch of joggers. I was gonna do a joggers review. I think I bought five different pairs and I returned four out of five of them. So Amazon, I have found, is not the best place to buy your joggers. I like to buy them from, my number one place is Misguided. They have like that jogger material. It's like cotton, it's like soft inside, and then they're cinched at the waist as well as at the bottom of the legs. So the only ones I kept were these white ones right here. They are like cotton material, but they're a little different inside. If you can see, it almost looks, this is the material inside. I'm not even sure how to explain it. It's a little different from your typical joggers, but it is cinched at the waist as well as at the legs. They're nice and long. They're not very see-through. I mentioned them in a previous vlog and they have pockets. They are pretty expensive considering, I think they were like $30. You can definitely find more affordable joggers on Misguided if you, snag like a sale or something like that so they're not the cheapest and i don't think amazon's the place for joggers but those weren't too bad i also picked up this those were also in a size small i also picked up this but this i bought in a size medium you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it i've been wanting a vest like this for a while and i got it in a size medium it is definitely much more oversized than i wanted it to be so i think i'm gonna return it and get it um in a size small so I usually wear size small, medium, depending on the style of the clothing piece. But this is what a medium looks like. Let me actually put it on so you can see. But my idea was to wear this with, you can wear it with leggings, maybe some booties, or you can wear it with jeans. That's how I wanted to wear it with like, it's like some jeans, tuck it in at the waist. And it does have a slit on the sides and just like some sneakers. I thought it'd be really cute right now and then wear like a blouse underneath one of those button-up shirts. So this was actually a pretty exciting find because I've been looking for something like this for a while. Um, it covers the butt in the back of the medium one. I don't know about the small. So I think I'm going to return it for a small, but I thought this was a pretty good find. I also picked up these earrings, these gold hoops right here. So I bought these little ones probably over a year ago at this point. I've had them for such a long time, one of them fell. And these have a very nice weight to them. They haven't tarnished or anything and I have worn them so many different times. These, um, they seem to be holding up well so far. I think those were like $14. These have been holding up well so far, but they are much lighter. You can tell they're uh, cheaper quality, like they're hollow inside, whereas these feel like they're heavy. But if you're looking for a gold hoop, like this, like a larger one, I would say it's a pretty good find. I do feel like Amazon has a pretty decent jewelry finds if you're looking, like chains and things like that. I actually got my Garmin watch from there, so I'm looking to replace my band with like a gold silver one. They have something like that as well. I'm telling you, Amazon has everything you can probably think of. I also wanted to quickly mention this, just because it's a product that I love. I don't know, I'm sure you can find it on other places other than Amazon, but I just picked it up on Amazon because I wanted it quickly. I ran out of, I had like a sample size and I loved it so much, so I picked up the large size. It is a cleansing balm and it's great if you have like dry skin. It almost feels like a Vaseline and it looks like a Vaseline type, like right here if you guys can see. But in, when you put it on your skin, your skin looks so great and oiled up and it takes off all my makeup with no problem. It was $15, but a little bit goes a long way. So this should last you a good bit, a few months for sure, definitely. I also picked up this, which I think is adorable. It is a planner, but it is a reusable planner. So it is Louis Vuitton inspired, but obviously doesn't pretend like it's Louis Vuitton, doesn't come with any certification or any lettering to make you believe it's Louis Vuitton. It comes in the white one as well as this one, and it comes from China. So it did take me two weeks to get to me. You can email the seller and they'll give you a um, shipping, shipping uh, tracking number once it ships out. And the nice thing about this one is that I didn't think that it came with paper, but it does come with paper. Paper inside looks like this. It's basically writing paper. You can write the date, whatever you want. So the nice thing about this is that it is refillable. So once you're done with these pages, instead of buying a brand new planner, you can just buy A6 pages and pop them in and you have a brand new planner. So you don't have to keep buying year after year. You don't have to keep buying new planners. So this was actually one of my favorite finds. I use it. I love it. I keep it by my bed so I can just keep track of all the stuff that I'm doing. It came in like this little satchel right here. The seller has been nothing but lovely. I've had issues and they've remedied it. They have just been a really great. So definitely recommend the seller as well as the product. And then last but not least, since Valentine's Day is coming up, I wanted to talk about these right here. So these are basically forever roses. I am obsessed with them. I love the color. A few people have said in the reviews that they do smell funny and they do. They obviously don't have a rose type smell. 
what was that? They don't have like a rose type smell, but um, I don't know how forever flowers usually smell. <music> a little bit funny but it's nothing crazy it comes in this white box I will say that the box is definitely not the best quality like you can tell right here right here it's not the best quality but it's under $100 and you're getting 16 roses you they do sell multiple colors and then it comes with this acrylic lid on top so I will say the acrylic lid also has like a little bit of scratches I do have to clean it my kids were messing with it and then this sticker is super annoying I don't know why they put it on here because I can't even take it off and if I do it's gonna leave like that film that residue so what I like to do is just, just place it underneath and leave it like this on my table it's supposed to last a year under $100 thought it was a great find just thought that I would share some of the purchases I accumulated over the past month or two that I thought were worth sharing that maybe you guys might find interesting I will link all the items down below. I also have an Amazon storefront where I either do uh, pictures, videos of certain things, and then I have categories. Everything is like nicely organized, so check that out if you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in future videos.